guys and welcome to Midimax tutorial and yeah today we're gonna start with the boat controller series so today we're gonna create a script that make an object float over a mesh or a water level so this is an example of what I have done as you can see here we have the boat as you can see it uh, floats and we're gonna do something uh, we're gonna change the height as you can see it floats and we're gonna rotate it change the rotation but doesn't look a big problem because the script make it uh, reverted to its um, first position and it looks very good so yeah let's get started so the first thing we need is to create a new unity project and we need to import some standard assets so we go to assets import package and environment okay so click on to deselect all the packages uh, or all the assets so we go to environment and we search for um, water import it and select it and click import So now we're going to import a water mesh into the scene. So we go to standard assets, environment, water, uh, water, preapps, and water pro daytime. We drag it into the hierarchy. And as you can see, we have a water mesh. So we're going to change the scale, we're going to increase it that's good and that's good as you can see we have a water then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a cube we're gonna change the scale also 10 10 10 as you can see it's too big maybe 5 yeah that's good maybe one just we're gonna change the position um, five is good to rotate it okay we have a cube and we're going to test it so nothing happened okay so what we're gonna do is to create a script and we're gonna name it as float object script and we open it with mono develop we are going to wait until it opens ok 
Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to require a, a component type of rigid body. So we're going to require a rigid body component for each uh, object that contains this uh, script. Okay? Maybe it doesn't work, so we're going to create a rigid body component. Uh, you can change the mass, whatever you want, and we're going to test it. As you can see, the object falls down, but doesn't float on the over the water. Okay, so we're gonna go. Sorry, what is that? Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, so we're gonna create four um, variables: public, float water level equal to zero public float uh, water threshold I guess equal to Two and public float um, water density equal to zero point one hundred twenty five and finally public. Um, down force equal to four. Okay, so we're gonna delete this the start function and change the update function to fix it update. So maybe you're wondering why I have added fixed update. Look, the update function uh, just executes um, the statements, but the fixed update function calculate the, the statements and then execute them. So that's why I have uh, added a fixed update uh, function because we're going to use some um, calculations and you know we're going to require this uh, function so yeah let's uh, go over here and we're going to also add some private variables um, float force factor and vector 3 variable of name float force we're gonna go now to the fixed update function we're gonna type force factor equal to 1 minus Transform dot position dot y minus the water level divided by the float threshold. That's it. And yeah. So here we're gonna type if force factor is greater than zero and we're gonna type here float force equal to minus physics dot gravity times 
force factor minus a get component rigid body dot velocity dot y times water density. Okay, so we're gonna add here also float force plus equal to get component rigid body dot add force at position which has the force of type vector 3 and the position of the force okay so we're gonna type float force and the position is transform dot position simple and build the script build successful I'll go to the editor gonna okay I think it works so it has gone down a little bit because we have a big amount of downforce so we're gonna decrease it make it zero as you can see it gone up and decreased also it go also up so we're gonna make it zero for now and oh yeah I forgot we have a problem here which is when we increase the mass of the rigid body ball falls down as you can see let's make it 10 it has fall down but no problem we're gonna fix it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the model develop again and we're gonna type uh, where we're gonna add it yeah here so physics dot gravity times um, get component rigid body dot mass. Also here we're gonna type times get component dot rigid body dot mass. Simple. We're going to retest it. We're gonna wait until it stops moving and we're gonna increase the mass as you can see nothing happens nothing happens so thank you guys very 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 much for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and like and do uh, stuff like that as always and yeah, in the next episode we're gonna start with the boat controller uh, script. So we're gonna make a boat and make it move with the, the script. And yeah, goodbye.